Well, that's making it really difficult to shoot in the water because the waves oh, are like God. pushing you. This is the glamorous side of modeling. She wasn't really smiley. She looked upset. She looked tired. I just don't like her attitude. The one thing that I have to critique you on is the stiffness. Now, guys, what you don't realize... Today, I'm reacting to an episode from America's Next Top Model where out of all the places they could do a photo shoot in Thailand, they choose a beach with some bushes in the back. And then during judging, Nigel defends one of the models against Tyra. So let's take a look, shall we? Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Welcome to paradise. Today's shoot is for L Girl Magazine and Amp Mobile, who's America's first wireless entertainment provider. And the clients are here. So it's a real Is job. the money here Jay also with us, us? That the clients are here. I just feel really intimidated and a lot of pressure because I want to do well. The spread that you girls shoot today on this beach is going to be a real spread in L Girl magazine. Shut your mouth and say it ain't so. It is so. What? And Amp mobile users can download the photos to their cell phones. I got OP swim. Tyra pops out. Hey guys, I'm going to be joining you in today's photo shoot. <laughs> I heard we're going to be in a magazine. She comes out. Okay. So the girls are advertising a product, it looks like. I don't like the advertising photo shoots. They always look kind of cheesy, but let's see how this... I don't know what the concept is for this one, so let's see. I got OP swimwear for you girls to be wearing. So I'm going to introduce you to your two clients today. I have Christy, who's Hi, the Christy. promotions director from Al Girl Magazine. And Eric, the creative Hi, director. Eric, the creative from director OP from OP Swimwear. Swimmer. All right. I'm looking at the water, and I'm knowing that this water a year ago, like, destroyed everything that we're standing on. It was really affecting me. Hey, girls, come on, on down here. I have to introduce you to your photographer today. I had to get somebody Nigel. who has a discerning eye, a little opinionated, tough critic. Tyra. You probably all know him, Mr. Nigel Barker. I didn't want to be right about this. <laughs> Could be better. Could be better. Even though he, he does intimidate me. That's one person that does intimidate me. Remember, this man knows all your strengths. He knows all everything. Your weaknesses. I'm going to take no prisoners today. That yeah, sounds. That's not real. You're going to take no prisoners today. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. You're holding my bank account prisoner by not paying me for this advertising campaign as a model. <laughs> That's what I would be thinking. I do bring up the money stuff a lot. It's just crazy that the girls are doing something stuff like this where models will be paid a lot of money, thousands of dollars for something like this. Thousands of dollars. So they have Nigel as today's photographer. Did he want a trip to Thailand? He's like, I heard they're going to Thailand. Are we, are, am I flying business? What's going on here? Start here, let me move. That's how real fashion stories work. It's not just the one position. No. I want you to really model. This is the final four, and this is where we really have to shine. Not only that, but Nigel is your photographer. All right, guys. Is Nigel being paid it's to really photograph this? The waves are really, really rough today. So that's making it really difficult to shoot in the water because the waves oh, are like God. pushing you. This is the glamorous side of modeling. Everyone thinks the beach is wonderful. It's not. You're soaking wet and like you have no makeup on, but you still have to try to be oh cute God. and look nice. Jodie did very well. You know, the environment may look fantastic in a picture, but you don't realize sometimes the girl was freezing, you know, and she managed to be glowy and warm. Oh okay. my God. That, I'm sorry. This looks like a nightmare scenario for any photographer. This does not look fun. As a photographer, I would not want to photograph something like this because the waves look very rough. It looks cold. The model doesn't look like she's enjoying posing. And it just, it's also kind of boring, right? You brought these girls to Thailand. They have the most amazing, like, temples and beautiful uh, surroundings in Thailand. And then you take, this is where you're choosing to shoot. You have this huge budget. You can photograph probably anywhere you want. And you choose this. This is your photo shoot location. Just some water. What's the difference between shooting this and California versus in Thailand? I mean, you brought them all the way there. You might as well show off the scenery show the beauty of thailand in these pictures 
Okay, we got it. Did you? It's good to be the judge. It's a lot of work. We're dealing with the elements and the wind. Don't let the struggle show on your face. We're gonna start you off on the rocks, because the they're rock. nice and hard and the waves are beating you down. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do this. Oh my God. There were so many kind of stressful aspects to the shoot, you know, having the L girl rep there, the OP rep, you know, Nigel, who I'm completely intimidated by. Relax the face a little bit, not too modelly. There you go. It was a bit challenging. They just have them on rocks. They just, you took them all the way to Thailand to have these girls pose on rocks. It was a bit challenging when Sarah's facial expressions in the camera weren't connecting necessarily with the shot. Maybe put your hands through your hair and just mess it up a bit for me. I think a good model has to be comfortable with themselves. And Sarah still, even though we've said time and time again, relax, 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 the face was not so open, a little, little less with the legs. I don't think Sarah was really comfortable with what she was doing. See, not as easy as it looks, is it? Yeah. I'm up like that, being the other arm up too, and just have a little small moment. And I even this, even this, see with this background, with with this, like the the can the hot canopy thing with the colors in the back this looks nicer than what he was shooting on the rocks you're like we have this beautiful setup here with the the pillows and the colors and then you know the the plants and everything the wildlife and america's next top model is like you know what no we want them in the water on the sh sharp rocks on the hard rocks with the waves crashing into them so that they can crash into the sharp rocks that's what we want we don't want you know, the girls to lounge, <laughs> please, under the shade, okay, uh, with the pillows. And just have a little small moment, and I can come in, but do the face, just relax it. Thank God he moved. Thank God. That's better, Sarah. Much better, Sarah. Coming closer with your other leg. I think that I kind of recentered myself and refocused, and I did a lot better. Well, it's pretty, very pretty, the last one. Good. He's, I'm like, surprised. He's, like, that was, to be that here was good. As, as every other girl that is here. Hey, buddy. Hey. So, Nigel, here's what your picture looks like in the, in the app phone. Everyone's going to have looks the chance terrible. to download these images <laughs> to their phone. No one's, no one's going to download this to their phone. Why would someone download this? <laughs> Uh, maybe they maybe they do is the photo shoot for the picture on, in the cell phone because that is tiny so then what's the point of doing like elaborate pictures you could literally just put anything well you know what i it's think good, right? it looks really good it looks really great yeah. the, phone, the black surrounding really make the picture pop i definitely like to you know do bathing suit shots all my life I would do girl you got the body <laughs> Got on the boat. Finally, yeah. they are. It looks like they're switching things up. You know what I think happened? I think Nigel got bored, or the, shooting against the rocks was actually too difficult. So then they're like, "We gotta switch gears here." So now they're introducing, thank God, new elements here. We are improving slowly here. No one is crashing into the sharp rocks anymore. Joni, poor Joni, had to be the one to do that. <laughs> she was the first model. She she got the worst location of all. Got on the boat, man. Let me tell you, I was a little nervous because the boat was shaking. I actually should come off there. But I just went up there and I was just like, "Let's rock. Let's do this. I've been waiting for Mr. this day. Let's do it." Mr. J was concerned. That's nice. It's beautiful. Like that. Hold that. A girl that takes risks, you know, sometimes that pays off. And I did today for Jay. She won me She's over. doing great. She I've been waiting for this opportunity to shoot with Nigel, man. He makes people fierce. No, listen, Jay did amazing. Jay did so good. She gave him so many different poses. But also, in Joni's defense too, Jade had something she can interact with and pose with. Whereas, again, yeah, Joni just had the sand. And she had to really get creative, which is a lot harder. Like, I would be so mad if I were a model and they made me have that first location with the water smashing into me. And then I see the rest of the girls have these like other setups i don't know how i'd feel how you doing good so enjoy it i think the thing is is to be confidently positive have like happy thoughts to yourself people actually die where i'm standing and it's like it's hard for me to get past that because i am a really really compassionate person i always find in these situations when it is a little difficult think of all the good things that you've got in this environment like you know, the water's warm, it's beautiful. All those things are in your favor, right? As opposed to like all the things that aren't in your favor. 
Because that's what could get you down, and that'll show in your eyes. The eyes up to me, sweetie. Unfortunately, there's too many times where Danielle is too conscious of her surroundings, and that's where it, it all falls apart. A little less hold this for me. What we want is just natural beauty. This is L, L girl. You have to think, different clients, different way of modeling. So less yeah. of this, and more just natural, so... Yeah. And, and, and just, yeah, all that's beautiful. Even when you put your arm up, you can do that, but not... I like, I like his direction a lot. Beautiful, Danielle. He's right doing a good job here. directing her. Make the legs prettier. I was frustrated with myself, and I'm my own worst critic, so, you know, I'm really down on myself today about that. Wow, look at that. Looks great. That phone. If I say so myself. It's really Looks good. Looks amazing. You have to consider Danielle and Joni didn't have anything to model with, so that's going to be a lot harder than what Sarah and Jade had. They actually had things, something to model with. They had She had the boat, and then Sarah had, you know, she had the pillows and the, the nice setup. So I'm just saying they had, like, when you have something to model with, I feel like it's easier, at least to me, at least in my opinion, when I work with models. Who else misses the time where we had flip phones and sidekicks and blue blueberries? No, not blueberry. What am I saying? Oh my, blackberry. By the way, I never had a blue, what's said blueberry again? When blackberries came out, every, remember, there was BBM. Who remembers BBM? Black, uh, Blackberry Messenger. I always wanted that and I just couldn't get a blackberry. Could not afford one. I got a Blackberry at the very end. That's when I could afford one <laughs> from working. So I I had BBM like at the very end. And I just feel like that spark of life is like gone now. So that, that phone kind of took me back a little bit. This week you had go -sees. And go -sees are the most important thing that a model has to do to get a job. Okay, so I actually did a reaction video to the Ghosties. You guys have to watch it. It's actually crazy like that. <laughs> There's a big plot twist at the end. So I'm going to have that, that video, the link in the description. Okay, so if you want to watch that one, I definitely recommend it. One thing that's extremely important at a go -see is your photo because that's what you leave behind. Polaroids are becoming the in thing with retouching at such a forefront in photography that no one can trust what they see half the time. Everyone takes Polaroids, so they get the real you. Me in person in my pictures, I got two booties. I got my real booty, and then I got my booty in pictures. This is my real booty. Yes, please. It's oh, real. okay. This is my booty in pictures. <laughs> okay. You did Very helpful. at your go sees so that's your judging test today. We're going to see how you look and Danielle, you're first. What do you mean? Right, Danielle, so you can see them right now. And here is your best shot in your normal clothes. It looks okay. She looks good. It doesn't look great. It doesn't look bad. It's a representation, but it's not <laughs> It's a amazing. representation. Here's your shot with the designer's clothes on. You've got a great face, but I wouldn't pick that out as somebody that I would particularly call back. Danielle, were you comfortable in this garment? Yes, I was very comfortable. I think being in a tuk-tuk or put-put, whatever it's called, and I was hot, I let that affect me. And but you weren't in a tuk-tuk, you were in a dress dress. <laughs> you should have been in there, complete, full-on model, not even thinking about the tuk-tuk, think about the dress dress and the pose pose. I remember <laughs> thinking in my head, Danielle, you're tripping. So you had a photo shoot on the beach, and it was shot by the lovely Nigel Parker. Let's see, I want to see this. <laughs> Would you know she's in Thailand? Would you? I don't know. I'm seeing a little tiny bit of the this island in the back, but th that's not much. It's like a bikini picture. I feel like they could have just done so much more on America's Next Top Model. They could have went all out for this, but they didn't. Well, her body looks amazing. Lovely. You are definitely a little bit more comfortable with the over sexy shots than you are with your natural beauty. Very easy when you wear swimsuits to think that that kind of sports illustrated look is the only look. Sometimes you have to go more with the client once. The client was L girl and that's a lot softer, a lot more gentle, a lot younger. I have a little rule. Men's magazine, legs open like that, straight to camera. Women's magazine, turn it a little bit. Same pose, turn it like this. Okay. Men's magazines, arch the back. Women's magazines, hunch the back. Love that picture of Tyra. Morning to women, so nice. Not to men. Thanks, Danielle. Up next. Okay, is I I get their their I get what they're trying to say. 
but I just feel like the I'm sorry I'm just gonna say the photo shoot was just so low budget they had no makeup artist no hairstylist they put them in these bikinis on the beach it just it the whole it just looks the production the production quality is not there um versus like what we saw for the that picture of Tyra what we saw now that was like fashion that was beautiful I would have loved to have seen that somewhere like with a behind like a temple in Thailand something more something more all right Sarah so you went to a go see and here is your best Polaroid in your clothes from off the street from off the street you were one step from covering your body just with your hands what's the, why are they showing these pictures high in the picture the choice of words here's your shot with the designer's clothes on the picture look I they were just asked to pose for the well there's just this is it's not that serious for them to to like look into this too deeply these pictures are important because it does give the designer an idea of how the model will look in that piece but i don't think them posing better is going to cheat like is gonna be the the deal breaker here i think it's just their over the model's overall look so yes while polaroids like digitals are important i think it's just the model's look that they're looking at it's not like the necessarily the pose in my opinion the picture looks almost too amateur for what you've been through. You know what I mean? Like this it was, it was an amateur like, picture. Hi, my name is Sarah, and I want to try out for America's Next Top Model. You look like a pretty girl, but it wouldn't pop out if you were looking at, you know, 20 girls. Sarah, you had a photo shoot at the beach with Mr. Nigel Barker, and here's your best shot. I wouldn't have... Where, where's the, where are the pillows? Okay. I mean, I love the colors. Love the colors. Love how this was toned. But just the background, what is this background? We have a bunch of like dead leaves and stuff, like twigs back there. You're literally in Thailand and this is, you give us like a, a side of the beach. You got like two bushes in the back, some twigs. They're like, okay, here's Thailand. What, where's, where are the temples? Where's, where are the beautiful, elaborate, intricate designs that are, that, that are in Thailand? I'm pretty sure there are like temples in the water, right? I've seen pictures. Thailand is just gorgeous. And then but and then we have this. I like the toning though. I love the light. I think the the quality of the picture is great. I wouldn't have realized that was you. You look very very different, which is fantastic. Your face. I think you will look great in the swimsuit as well. I really felt the hardship of the shoot. You found it very difficult to relax. Do you know how to smile with your eyes? I thought without so. moving your lips why don't you try it yeah i do mm. i just did it mm -mm. no yeah. you have to think of something from within <laughs> something that makes you Tyra. she's like do you know how to can you show us all of us we're waiting can you smile with the, both of your eyeballs okay no that's not how you no sarah sarah please I told her to smile with her. I need you to smile with your left eyebrow and two inches of your of the second piece of the bottom of your eye. That's what I wanted. And you just and you're I don't, I'm not seeing it. Did I not tell her to smile with two of her eyelashes and her eyebrow hairs? She's not listening. She just not. You're not getting it, Sarah. No. You no. have to think of something from within and something think of something that makes from you within. Like okay, and now I'm, I'm not smiling with my eyes right now. I'm just she's smiling. not. She never smiles with her. Okay. Now I'm about to smile with her. And eyes. now she's going to. Incredible. Amazing. See the difference? I, yes, I did. And that was the thing. It was you from within. In that environment, which was so comfortable and, and, it was, and, and you just didn't let go. Didn't let go. Of the right, twig so on the tree. Up next is Jade. So we're going to see I learned a lot. your Polaroid in your normal clothes first. I think you got a very <laughs> the, the angle. body language. <laughs> yeah. I think it would be important to have a little smile on the face. It's a little tough. Smile. I agree with Nigel. A little smile, a little bit of warmth. Because you okay. do come across, as you know, a little bit intimidating. All right, and this is you and the designer's clothes. I like the softness in your face. She that's, looks good. That's much nicer. And, and it's interesting because you're not actually smiling, but there's a softness. The intimidating factor is gone. None of the girls won the go-see challenge. <laughs> that's <laughs> never happened with America's Next Top Model. Everybody failed because everybody was late. And Jade, you were the most late. Tyra loved saying that none of them won the challenge. They all failed because they were late because we didn't give them 
sufficient amount of time, a sufficient amount of time in order to take the tuk-tuks, is that how you say it? The little cars, the windowless cars that I very much enjoy. I love them. They just weren't able to go to the 75 go sees and take off their shoes and after they had to get the gifts and everything they were they were late i don't know what happened it baffles me how you guys could be late when we only asked you guys to go to 40 go sees in 20 minutes and then buy gifts and take off your shoes what happened what happened girls we gave you a map a a, a scanned map I just, you guys did not deserve the two racks of designer clothes that we were never going to give you in the first place. But we said to make you feel bad. And if you didn't watch my reaction video yet, you, you guys, go. you need to watch it. You need to watch it. Link will be in the description. If it was up to me, I would have rode in a cab because those tut, putt, hut, hoopty rod that I had, it was just like, whoo. So if you were a taxi, like, you think you... Uh, oh, you would have preferred a taxi? She's eliminated. Did you guys see Tyra's face when Jade brings up the fact that she would have preferred an actual taxi instead of the tuk tuks they, they were given? Tyra's like, oh, okay. We have a critical thinker here. So if you were in a taxi, you think you would have gotten there sooner? Not necessarily, but I think that it kind of been, it would have been a little bit more comfortable for myself. But as a model, it's, as a new model, it's not about being comfortable. Like, I could say the same thing. Oh, in Paris, the subway, oh my God, it's so hot and funky and there's a man touching my booty in the back. And I could say, oh yeah, a cab is easier, but a cab's not easier when you're a new model and you ain't making millions of dollars yet. So Jade, you had a photo shoot where- Did, did Tyra just talk about like assault? Like, <laughs> she's like, oh, there's a guy touching me without my consent. Oh no, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Tyra, isn't that assault? That was way too casual for me. What Tyra's saying is just not comparable because the usually if you're if you're a model you can plan out your go sees and you can give yourself enough time but in this situation they create the time constraints and they give them a certain amount of go sees they have to go to and they choose the mode of transportation whereas in this scenario Tyra's talking about the model would get to choose the transportation that they want so it's just they have the choice but the America's Next Top Model girls don't have the choice does that make sense do you, do you guys get what I mean? The regular models have like get to plan it out a little bit and know what they're doing. Whereas the girls on the show just got to do whatever they're told to do with whatever they're given. So Jade, you had a photo shoot where you had to be very natural on the beach. Let's see your best shot. Oh, that's really nice. That's okay, I like this one. The lighting is nice. I like the toning. The sky is beautifully exposed. Yeah, it's nice, but again, would have loved to have seen Thailand, but it's just, there's nothing I can do. That's gorgeous. I think that picture's absolutely horrible. Do you? Just kidding. <laughs> you just want to be controversial, don't you? I really like the face, beautiful face, and the pose is very beautiful as well. The one thing that I have to critique you on is the stiffness. There were these beautiful shots of you when you were sitting on top of the boat, and it was this horizon and kind of a profile thing, and it was almost like just a little relaxing would have made it like even better than this. Now, guys, what you don't realize is this boat was rearing and rocking like a stallion horse. What was amazing was that you managed to keep that serenity. You impressed me. After I worked with you, I saw a new Jade. Thank you. All right. Thank you, next. Nigel, for actually stepping up and explaining the context to why maybe she was a little bit more stiff. See how that changes everything, knowing the, the story behind a picture. Because Tyra can easily be like, yeah, you looked stiff, you look like this, you should have done this. But she, she, yeah, she didn't know that the boat was literally rocking back and forth and Jade could have fallen over. That kind of surprised me that, that Nigel actually spoke up because usually they don't on the show. The photographers don't try to defend the models or they don't say anything or they're not even on the panel. So I think it's really great that he stood up for her. He didn't really have to say anything. He could have just, again, said nothing and let, you know, Tyra... Tyra's probably not too happy that Nigel stepped in. She's going to have a talk with him after that. Like, how dare you? How dare you give context for my critique? Up next is Joni. Look at Joni looking all modely today. What's going on? And the hair back, Joni. I see the neck. 
It's very modely. I so see your neck too, Tyra. Here's your Polaroid and the clothes you walked in from the street. What this Polaroid does show, Jenny, is that great. basically. It's just, a it's a Polaroid. And the bone structure, even under the blast of a Polaroid camera, comes out looking flawless. Right, okay, so Nigel, so thank you. photo in the client's clothes. The body oh, I love this like, look, how cute. Uh, and you naturally stand like that, Joni. You stand with your I think hands it looks cute. forward, almost like handcuffing. Very simian. You have to stick the chest out, but not pornish, but just stick it out and push your hands back a little. All right, Joni, you have to Did you have to shoot? say it like that? No, to Nigel Barker, and here is your best shot. Wait, wasn't she, she had the wave slamming into her? You did, you made her go through all that just to pick a picture where she wasn't on the beach in the water? This poor girl. I would be mad if I had waves smashing into me nonstop only for them to choose a picture of me not in the water, not, not having survived that and gone through that where they're just going to pick a picture. They probably took one or two pictures here and they're like, okay, let's go, you're done. I think it's beautiful and natural. Again, I really love the toning of these pictures. The background really weakens this photo so much. This, you, it's Thailand. I'm sure you could have walked uh, two minutes and then you would have seen something gorgeous you can photograph. I don't know. I love it. I think you look fantastic. I'm so impressed with how you've changed. You've become a different girl. When I saw her lookbook, I, I thought like um, maybe she has not many different looks but this is very beautiful and very different i absolutely love it i absolutely love it and you look younger thanks john all righty now it's time for the judges it's a very good to picture and we'll call you back okay so the judges have deliberations and i'm gonna have my own deliberation of their deliberation just because so now it's time for us to deliberate and decide which one of these young chickadees has to go home Joni. The proof is in the pudding, and I think that's a great I love pudding. photograph. I think she was wonderful. <laughs> I love Joni. I want pudding, Joni's actually. The biggest issue is the fact that she only really only has one look. I mean, I was with her in all kinds of situations, and she still had one look. I'm impressed with Joni today. She pulls that hair back, and she just became European. She, it's just Joni. the hair back. I like um, her face, but I don't like this pose. I think she looks lovely here, other than the slightly, you know, provocative pose. This is not fashion on the beach. This is a beautiful picture. If you're a boy, and I'm still concerned about her speech. What's she cannot wrong? do a CoverGirl commercial speaking like that. What Sarah, do, what do you mean? What did she say? Nice. Did they give speeches or something? Was there? Sarah, this photo is nice, and she got a great body. Yes, we I love tall girls. I'd rather have a tall girl than a short girl. But in the end, I mean, we need a girl that can fit everything yeah. and she may not be the girl. Sarah has a great body for, for swimwear. She's learning, she's moving, she's changing, and she's an interesting girl. Jay. Okay, Nigel. When she came to my go see, she wasn't really smiley. She looked upset, she looked tired. I just don't like her <laughs> I mean, attitude. I, listen, I would be tired too if I was on this show, to be fair, okay? So the whole, the smiling thing, but then also, if you're just smiling just to smile, then it's not really a genuine smile. That's just, what. don't you want people to just smile if they really want to smile and not just because you want them to smile? She wasn't really smiley. She looked upset. She looked tired. I just don't like her attitude. She's always on the defensive. It's never her fault. She's never wrong. And it drives me nuts. Well, the thing Sounds is, like someone on the show. Jade knows how to model. <laughs> and that's invaluable. This is why she's still yeah. here, guys. Because every week she does actually come up with a great shot. Who should go home? That girl should go home. Twiggy? Who? Who is her? that? Should go home. How should go home? Oh, that doesn't matter. She's been around too many black folks. Okay, so I think it's Sarah going home. Before we see who gets eliminated for no reason, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for you to build your business and brand online. Whether you're just starting out, you want to manage a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful looking website, engage with your audience, and sell anything that you can think of. Squarespace has so many amazing features. You can create your own online store, whether you want to sell physical or digital products. Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. You can also handle appointments using Squarespace. 
Squarespace, you can offer online, in-person, private sessions, workshops, or even group classes. Squarespace provides everything you need to manage your schedule, accept secure payments, send automatic reminders, and beautifully showcase your services and more. How you display your work is really important, and Squarespace makes it easy by having so many customizable features. With a click of a slider, you can change how large or small your photos are. You can add space in between each picture. I love how they have so many different options for you to display your work the way you want it to be seen. You can start a free trial by going to squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jessica. Use my offer code Jessica for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All the information will be in the description. With that being said, let's see who is leaving Thailand. Four beautiful ladies stand before me, but I only have three photos in my hands. And these photos represent the three of you that Tyra's are still makeup looks really nice. towards becoming America's next top model. The first name that I'm going to call. Joni. You look absolutely beautiful today, like a real model. It's the hair. Congratulations. The hair. Everyone pull your hair back. <laughs> We can all be models. The next name I'm going to call. Tyra's so serious. The next name. Jade. Jade. Thank you everybody for believing in me and you as well, Tyra. Jade, you keep saying that every week. You say, thanks for believing me, thanks for believing in me. It's not just believing in you, it's you producing. This picture's a huge improvement. It's so soft. It's beautiful. Congratulations. Okay, wait, why did it sound like you say that every week, but you still give us amazing results. We're very happy with this. And this picture is an improvement. And I'm like, okay, so you're happy, Tyra? Okay, so we're good, Tyra. If they didn't believe in her, then they would have believed in sending her home. And she's still there. So they do still believe in her. Will Danielle and Sarah please step forward? It's Sarah, isn't it? I only have one photo in my hands. And this photo represents the girl that will still be in the running towards becoming America's next top model. I'll only call one name. The girl that I do not call must immediately return to the hotel and fly home. Sarah, the judges look at you as the most improved girl here. Danielle took beautiful pictures from the start. So did Joni. So did Jade. But the reason you're still in this competition is because you've progressed. That's what this competition is about. It's about starting somewhere and then progressing. It's not about starting strong. It's about improving. But the judges are now saying, has she improved enough? There's only so much that an A for effort can give you. Danielle. Smile with your the eyes, judges Sarah. judges still struggle with your speech. The winner of this competition has to be a cover girl model. She has to be articulate. She has to speak eloquently. So who goes home? The girl that's that was so random for Danielle. So much. Who may have reached her stars. Or the girl that takes beautiful pictures. But the judges don't trust when she opens her mouth. Why are you, why would you say that? <laughs> Danielle. What is she gonna say now? Danielle, accents are beautiful because they show the world where we come from. But as a model, you gotta learn to turn it on and turn it off. Turn off your you have accent. To practice speaking every time you open your mouth. Try to speak like a cover girl. Try to speak like your your um, recording Still commercial. Room. Okay, Tyra. So Tyra's advice is: Oh, we love all types of accents, um, but when you speak, just pretend that there's a film, a ten-person film crew, and you have cue cards, and you're selling deodorant nationwide. That's what you should uh, just practice doing that every time you open your mouth. It wasn't even about the photo. It wasn't about her performance. It was just like, you you don't sound articulate and eloquent when you speak. Okay, but did she was she not on a beach in Thailand doing a photo shoot for a flip phone? What about that? And what, what happened to the phone? I don't know. They showed like two seconds of it, and it's gone. And I, I haven't seen it since. Try to speak like a cover girl. I'm going to try to speak like a cover girl. Okay. You're still only running towards becoming America's next top model. I'm going to do the last of this video speaking like a cover girl. It's going to be so amazing. I really need to practice my speech because you can turn your accent on and off.
Man, this music gets me every time. Oh, oops. Man, this music gets me every time. Make sure to check out our easy to glide on deodorant that makes smelling fresh fun. I don't even know what I said. I don't even know what I'm saying. You should be proud. You started not knowing what the hell you were doing. <laughs> Still Isn't that with out. anything? Yeah, I think really? Getting there. Thank you. Okay. Is I mean, no one knows what. Let's be real here. None of us know what we're doing ever. You think I, I, I don't know what I'm doing really in my life. So I feel like this is very relatable. No one knows and no one will ever know. But that's the beauty of life. You just you're always lost. And you just hope one day the you stop, they stop sending bills to your house.